Hi friends, uh, now we are starting the Python assignments. Uh, just to improve your coding skills and uh, to improve your analysis analysis skills, uh, just I'm starting the some basic assignments. Uh, don't think this is a small assignment, this is a big assignment. Uh, try to do the, all the assignments, okay? So in Python ELL, I'll either try to get the 200 assignments, 200 plus assignments. So don't think that is a big, that is a small. Try to do the assignments first, okay? So to it improves your analysis skills. That's it. Uh, See, I will do some some assignment regarding the variables actually. See, to do the assignment, I have the code in my material. Just let me write the code. Let me do the copy the code here. See, we have this is my material. Mm, good. So now we'll think about the variables point actually. Local and the global variables. Good. So here the assignment is this one actually. Mm, good. So this is assignment here. Just let me paste the data here. All def. Uh, okay. So here click on others. You simply can go to the Python. This is assignment. Right here the output is there, but uh, don't uh, right check the output. Analyze the assignment. Write the output. Anyhow. So I know, right? I know. Good. What I what I will do? You know. Here I will change what triple A. Here I will change triple B. Here I will change what triple C. Here I will change what triple D. Uh, now we we pause the video. If we check the output also, not possible, right? <laughs> Good. Now tell me, yar. Uh, this is my assignment. Uh, the assignment means what? Just you have to give the output of this assignment. That's it. So to understand this assignment, uh, so we must know the the prerequisite points. Uh, the first one we must know what is the non-local keyword. What the first one is the non-local. The second one we must know global keyword. These two we must know these to understand this assignment. Very clear? Good. Uh, this is my assignment. Is is an assignment. Good. So to understand this assignment, we must know what is the non-local and non-local is the global keyword. So in Python, we have the two types of variables, right? We have two types of variables. One is the local variables. Hmm. One is the local variables. Another one is what? Uh, hmm. Another one is what? Uh, global variables, right? That's it. Uh, local and global variables. Clear? Huh? So coming to, I'll give some information regarding non-local and global. Right? But to need the complete information, check my videos, YouTube videos, like uh, non-local and global keywords. I think in the variables part, I done those points. Okay, good. See, the global keyword is used to represent the global variables. So to represent your variable is a global type. Uh, we have to go for which keyword? Uh, global keyword. What about non-local keyword here? The non-local keyword. The non-local keyword is. See, I have the function to declare the function. You have the def function. The def outer function is there. The def outer. I have the def inner function is there. Outer and inner, right? Good. So inside the inner function to represent the outer function variable. See, for example, here are the name name equal to what? Ratan. Name equal to what? Ratan, right? So inside the inner function to represent the outer function variables, to represent what? Outer function variables. We are using which keyword here? Non-local keyword. See here, you can go for the non-local. Non-local is what? Name. The name equal to what? You can write the sign here. Clear? Now which value will be replaced here? Non-local is nothing but what? Outer class, of outer outer function variable, right? Then this Ratri is replaced with the sunny. The points you can check it here. Now we are discussing global keyword and uh, sorry, we have to, in this assignment, we have to know what about the non-local, what about the global. So how many types of variables in Java? Hmm. There are, hmm. there are what? Uh, two types of variables in Python. What are two types of variables? One is the local variables. One is the global variables. Clear? That's it. So what about the what about the non-local? Inside the inner function to represent the outer function variables. To represent what? Outer function variables. Simply you can go for which keyword here? Non-local keyword. Clear? Good. So if you want complete information, you can check the video. Then you can please uh, this is uh, can please tell me the answer for this example. Hmm? Good. Just I'm just you can just pause the video. Can please try to give the answer. That's it. Sir, no, yeah. Try to give the answer. Tell me, write the answer. Just pause the video. Write the answer. Okay. So then you can check the output now. 
okay so to check the output here in this example this is called display is the outer this is called inner this is called inner this is called inner total how many inners are there here total three inner functions are there i call disp when i call the disp method control goes here then control c in this executed executed then it is the come to this line right local disp then control local disp is called it means local disp is called right so name equal triple b it means what this is local to this function right local to this function means name equal bbb that's it right this is local to what this function hmm? good here but i'm printing the data right local name after calling the local name print the data when we print the data tell me this is the code of which one outer function inner function huh? code of which function uh, simply can write this is my code of which function here outer function right good code of outer function means here printing the name is this is outer name outer name what is the value here triple a or triple b triple a only printed here what is the first line output here triple a only what is the reason tell me here return sir what is triple b see this b is the local this is only for this function we only for this function only okay what about this one here i am printing outer variable right here the name is what triple a or not now we get the first line is a triple a output after that one here i am calling what non local disp right the non local disp means this is one we executed this one is executed means here name is there this is local or non local keyword non local keyword non local keyword means what it is representing the outer function variable or not inside the inner function to represent the outer function variable we are using non local this name is nothing but outer variable only now now outer variable will become what ccc right now what is the value of the name here uh what is the value of the name here ccc or not hey what is the value of the name ccc now here i am trying to print the data now tell me outer function variable what is the value here a or ccc ccc right that's it clear good then after this one i am calling global disp when i call the global disp then what happened here this global disp will be executed here i can check it here global name the global name is tell me here this is this one or or outer outer one global name this is called global or non local this is called non local global name means what simply this is outside of the outer function also this is just like uh, this is just like what uh, here the name equal to what uh, name equal to what ddd just like that yes or no yeah that's it so here we are changing which name here global name what is the global name here ddd right good after calling the global disp then i am saying i am trying to print the data when we trying to print the data tell me this is local global variable or non local variable this is outer function code right outer function code means non local variable only non local variable here also it contains what ccc only right previous value only initially it is a but previously here we changed ccc right now here the ccc value will be printed very clear huh? good now i am printing global name see previously in the inner function we represent the global name right global name is what ddd then here what is the value of the global variable here ddd right that's it very clear huh? so here the output will be what a c c c c c c c and ddd but here a b a a c c c ddd is not important analyzation skill is important and output is important clear huh? and repeat if you want to repeat once again <laughs> repeat the video once again <laughs> sir no yaar good in this example just you have to improve your analysis skill to do this assignments we must know what is a global keyword and non local keyword global keyword representing outer variable non local keyword representing what inside the inner function to represent the outer function variable how many types of variables in java there are two types local and global variable this is a uh, uh, information about information about what uh, non local right inside the inner function to represent the outer function variable simply can go for what uh, non local this is your answer i hope you'll get some clarity right then sir can please run this code to run this code let me use the online compiler so go to the python go to the google simply here you can type the python online compiler guys students so improve your analysis skills Hmm. Sir, no. See, when I take the online class for the year students, tenth class students, eh, tenth mm -hmm, standard, eleventh standard, 
when i said this exam they just they said basics basics actually they immediately analyze the things but you guys are feeling little bit difficult right so don't feel little bit difficult in front of the v- in front of the in front of you when assignment is there just uh, what are the prerequisite to understand that assignment so check the prerequisite clearly once if you done the prerequisite clearly then you are able to do this assignment properly clear that's it uh, simply can go for the repel it this is online compiler just you can go for the online compiler otherwise you can run the code normally also no problem clear this is your data simply run this code you will get the aa c c c c d d d clear so this is all about whatever variables assignment actually right clear good so thank you guys uh, thanks for watching so guys focus on practical knowledge improve the analysis skills Hmm? get the job otherwise if you are in job enjoy the coding skills okay and uh, before closing the video comment the video subscribe the video and like the video hmm? share your knowledge to your friends thank you guys bye